Hey guys, I'm the Jedi Master, and I'd like to welcome you guys to the third episode of Uncovering Star Wars Lore. Now, I do apologize for no camera in this video. I had some issues, um, but it will be back for the next one. But anyway, in this episode, we are going to be talking about the Sith, or the Sith Order as it's also known. So the Sith Order is a organization of dark side force users known as Dark Jedi. Sith is actually a term for a race that followed the Dark Jedi path. The Sith are all about gaining control over the galaxy and always gaining more power, more and more and more and more power. Never are they going to have enough power. They will even go as far as betraying each other to gain power. So the Sith focus on anger and fear and pain and all of that to gain power to from the force and using the dark side to gain power and they follow a code that is very reminiscent of this that I will tell you at the end of the video. So the Sith Order or the Dark Jedi were formed many 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 years before the Revenge of the Sith and Clone Wars, and it was all established by a rogue Jedi during the Hundred Year Darkness. And the Sith sought further knowledge and power through learning the dark side as opposed to just the light side. And eventually, as we know, this started to get a following, and a lot of Jedi fell from the light side and joined the dark side of the Force and became a Sith themselves wanting power and glory and everything that the dark side and the Sith promise. And this eventually led to the Jedi Civil War, where the Jedi and the newly found Sith Order fought against each other for control and power of the galaxy. And the war ended up with the defeat of the Sith. And... They ended up settling on a planet known as Moraband, which is known as the World of Red Sands, which later came to be known as Korriban. This is where they established the Valley of the Dark Lords, where they would bury the most iconic and powerful Sith and with all their treasures, and usually for the new Sith trainees to go and try to find and face the death that is possible inside those tombs. And they fought several wars against the Jedi to control the galaxy and a lot of times during these wars they would ju build these massive weapons uh, based on kyber crystals. And at one point they even went as far as building a shrine on Coruscant to resonate with dark and manipulative power which the Jedi later on ended up raising their own temple over the shrine so they could combat it to try and fight off the dark evil power and over the years the Sith started conquering planets can expanding their empire including likes of Malachor 5 where Jedi would be forbidden to go even just for the fact that there was so much dark energy there. And during the period of time known as the Dark Age, which is when Knights of the Republic 2, the Sith Lords, takes place, the Jedi Sith War broke out, and the Sith attacked the Republic capital known as Coruscant, even successfully capturing the planet, and the Jedi Temple located on the planet. Now, the, of course, the Republic and the Jedi fought back and dr drove the Sith from Coruscant. And ultimately, their seek for power and everything just ended up undoing them. They would turn on each other and start killing. And the Jedi, because they stayed together, were ultimately able to destroy the Dark Order and bring it down and they rose to power. But there was one Sith left, Darth Bane. 
and him and a few other Sith Lords destroyed the current order and reformed it with the Rule of Two, where there were only two Sith at a given time, a Master and an Apprentice. They ended up ab abandoning Moribond, also known as Korriban, after so many wars happened there, it had been scarred and probably just demolished. And eventually Darth Bane ended up getting killed and buried in the Valley of the Dark Lords with all the others. So after this, the Sith basically stayed below the radar. They had been hiding for many, 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 many years. And unbeknownst to the Jedi, they had started growing through Darth Sidious, who who took on the apprentice of Darth Maul and later Count Dooku. Sidious was extremely manipulative in that he was able to get become Chancellor and basically take out the Republic from the inside. And Sidious had killed his own master, Darth Plagueis, who we hear about in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So, after a couple years have gone past, the Clone Wars have ended, Sidious finally takes on his strike, where he denied to give back the war powers that were given to him. He had been in office way too long, and the Sith had started to rise, and the Jedi had came to arrest him. After killing off the Jedi, it was down to him and Mace Windu, and Mace cornered him and was about to kill him before Anakin Skywalker, who Sidious had been manipulating the entire time because he knew that Anakin was having this vision of where Padme Amidala dies in childbirth, and he was trying to prevent that from happening. And Sidious had told him the story of his master, Darth Plagueis, who could create the midichlorian for life, basically reversing death, and had told him that the only way to learn it is if he became a Sith. So after Mace Windu has cornered him, Anakin arrives and is trying to stop him. And the turning point at that time was that Anakin yells out no and cuts off Mace's hand and then the Dark Lord Sidious shocks Mace Windu out, out through the window, effectively killing him. After that, Anakin became known as Darth Vader, and he slaughtered all but two Jedi, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda. After this, the Age of the Empire had come where it was ruled by Darth Sidious and Vader and the Empire. And they had established Dark Side Wielders. Not Dark Siders, but Dark Side Wielders, known as Inquisitors. These Inquisitors were responsible for hunting down the remnants of the Jedi Order, Force-sensitive children that had the ability to become Jedi. And then there was the downfall of the Sith, where... Luke, who had been trapped on the Death Star 2, was fighting against Dar Darth Vader and Darth Sidious. It was a battle of wits with Darth Sidious and a battle of physical strength with Darth Vader. After Darth Sidious had begun to try and kill Luke, Vader, formerly known as Anakin Skywalker, had turned on his master to save his only son, which ended up resulting in the downfall of the Sith Order. Now going into the extended universe, the Sith Order never really came back after that. And there, while there were still s some Darksiders and the remnants of the Sith Order, they never really collaborated and became a full force ever again. Going into the sequel trilogy, the Sith Order and the Rule of Two had returned with Supreme Leader Snoke and Kylo Ren. So, here is the code that the Sith live by. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. 
Now, of course, this is very different from the Jedi Code. The only thing that the Sith and the Jedi really share is that they say that the Force will free them in different ways. While the Jedi say there is no death, there is the Force, the Sith say, through victory my chains are broken, the Force shall free me. So, the Sith believe that the Force breaks the chains to their life, freeing them immediately. Whenever they're able to use the Force, they their chains are broken. While the Jedi believe in the philosophy of that whenever they die, their chains are broken and the Force sets them free. You can see where the Sith come from, especially in Anakin's point of view, where he was just trying to save somebody. He went to the light side to try and save his family, he fell to the dark side to try and save his family, and then he went back to the light side to try and save his family once again. So anyway, that is the end of this lore video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. It does help out a lot. Tell a friend today about my Star Wars channel. It's pretty awesome. And may the Force be with you. Always.